This is the Media Mark Weather Show. Let's take a look at some viewers sent in photos here from Robert Jason Stone. He was on the northwest side of Richmond, Virginia. Take a look at this, a nice sunny day across Richmond, Virginia. Temperatures were pushing up into the 40s and even to the 50s across most of the area. And as you can see, very nice day across the area. You can see Robert, I believe this is Robert's truck if I'm not mistaken here. And you can see just crystal clear, stellar sunshine across much of the area. So thank you, Robert, for sending that in. That uh, kind of boosts some people up here and that are in some of those dreary, cloudy states right now. Although a lot of you snow lovers are loving this dreary, cloudy spell across much of the northern states. Speaking of snow, let's get right into liquid equivalent precipitation here. I want to draw your attention here to the desert southwest where in Arizona we could get upwards of five to eight inches of precipitation, especially just north and northeast of Phoenix. That's what that uh, strong system digging in here with the trough over the next 24, 48 hours through Friday morning, Friday afternoon. Here across much of the Gulf Coast, down in through Texas here, Austin heading up towards Dallas, Linden, Texas, up towards Little Rock. You could be seeing three as much as five inches of rain across much of the area. So be prepared for that. And here across the East Coast here, and up into the Great Lakes, we'll be seeing anywhere from quarter to half an inch. Most of that will be falling on Saturday. Let's take a look at snowfall totals I'm expecting during the next, say, through the weekend, early Saturday, midday Saturday into late afternoon Saturday. So this takes into account mainly Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Draw your attention here to the Rocky Mountains here and, and into the Northern Plains. That's where we'll see anywhere from four to six inches just north of Kansas. Eastern Colorado into southwestern Nebraska, we'll see that four to six inches. Across Kansas, for that matter, we'll see mixtures of sleet and freezing rain, probably a quarter inch of glaze, ice glaze likely. So be prepared for that, that's dangerous stuff. Now we head off across the northern plains, northern Great Lakes, and eventually the northeast. That is where we head on into some mixed precipitation, mixture of rain and snow for that matter. Maybe some sleet pellets mixed in on Saturday. And we will see some areas get about an inch, up to an inch of slushy accumulation in upstate New York, portions of Pennsylvania, New England, and the lower Great Lakes as well with that overrunning precipitation that I'm going to show you. Taking a look at that scenario, that setup here, heading on into Thursday and Friday, you can see that trough digging across the desert southwest here and the southern plains. Take a look at this, and we get that gulf moisture moving in. Possibility, some showers and thunderstorms in here. Of course, that overrunning precipitation just north of it in Kansas. That's where we'll get the sleet and freezing rain and snow on the backside and northern side of the system here in the desert southwest. Heading on across the east here, we'll have one more day as high pressure seems to dominate. Heading on into Saturday. Saturday, a very important day here across the northeast. We get that low pressure system moving up just east of many areas of eastern Pennsylvania and eastern New York. We'll get that wave a low pressure and we'll get rain and snow showers likely across much of upstate New York, maybe sleet pellets mixed in across Pennsylvania as well, West Virginia, portions of eastern Ohio and northern New England, S southern New England and eastern New England as well as the eastern mid-Atlantic will probably see plain rain out of this system as they will be south and east of the frontal boundary. So very nice here across much of the southeast here. Florida getting in on some showers, but not too much to speak of. That front clearing much of the central and western areas by the time the weekend comes. Now next week there is a big question mark with this Thanksgiving system. We have flip-flopping models back and forth between the Euro and the GFS, and it's hard to know which one to believe at this point. Like I said, it's really far out at this time, so we have much time to watch it. but. The Euro is hinting at a low pressure system riding up along the east coast and possibility of spreading snow inland. Whereas the GFS has been kind of hinting it a little bit further off the coast. So we'll continue to watch that for any further developments, but at this time, I'm not expecting anything significant. However, a moderate snow event could be in the order for portions of the east coast and mid-Atlantic. Now, how close to that coast it comes remains to be seen, as well as rain, mixture, snow, sleet, all that. Like I said, it's very far out at this time. 
So I'll continue to watch it here at Meteo Mark. One thing's certain, it will remain cold. Take a look at these temperatures on Saturday. In the east, we'll have a lot of 30s here in the northeast with that mixed precipitation, rain and snow, but it's here across the plains, the northeast and the Rockies. It just stays downright chilly, cold, a lot of teens, 20s and 30s across much of the U.S. That's going to do it here at Meteor Mark. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Meteor Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MeteorMark.com. Here's a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers in the Susquehanna region of New York and the Susquehanna region of northeast Pennsylvania. Take a look at this heading on into your day Thursday into Friday. Look at this. We start to cloud things up. That's where we get some of that warm front moving in on Friday. Showers and some sleep pellets mixing in late Friday afternoon into Saturday or Friday night for that matter. Saturday is the day we'll see that mixed precipitation, maybe a slushy accumulation to a half to three quarters of an inch, maybe up to an inch on the grassy surfaces with that rain and snow mixture. Temperatures will be marginal for any major accumulations. We're talking near 40 and things get cold from there look at that sunday into the next week here we really start to cool things down and some of those lake effects snow showers could could kick in that's going to do it here at meteor mark <music>